challenge Jimmy here on Friday. I was wondering how much Brad was going to put up with the blocking that the 24 did down the back straightaway, but uh, he kept his head about him, and now you can see Jimmy's going to make the pass on board, it looks like, but uh, Brad just decided to go ahead and pass him, and looks like Gordon's starting to struggle a little bit right now. All this going on well behind Matt Kenseth, the race leader, who's opened up a two-second advantage on second place, Martin Truex Jr. There isn't anyone in this field that's had a trouble-free day, I don't think, so far today, including the man who's got that healthy lead right now, Matt Kenseth. Tony Stewart, Casey Kane, swapping fourth and fifth positions. Tony overcoming a pit penalty earlier for leaving with an adjustment wrench still in the back windshield of that car. A spin out off turn number two where somehow he didn't hit anything. Casey Kane last lap was he was the quickest car on the track. Actually it was about a tenth of a second quicker than the leader. And if you weren't with us earlier in the race on that five car, the first ten laps after a restart, that five car just was so ill handled in case he would give up spots and then spend the rest of the run trying to make up what he'd given up. Jimmy Johnson around Jeff Gordon. That's ninth position for Johnson. As we work now to the final ten laps of this race. Kurt Busch just scraped the wall in the 78. He may have a and is this going to leave anything behind it? Coming in. There will be no yellow. Right front flat. Another driver having a frustrating day. And there have been many here today. There's a 78. Mm. It looked like just one of those where the tire was going down, didn't really blow out. You can see the right front is down on it, though, but unfortunate for Kurt in this race team. So Matt Kenzer, you see the Band-Aids hanging off the back bumper of that 17 car. It was earlier when Matt Kenseth got into the outside wall. Back at uh, lap number 173, Al Eric Almirola spun in front of him, racing for the lead. In the jam up, Matt got into the outside wall with the right side of that car. He had to give up a lot of track position, pitting under a subsequent caution at lap 177, and went all the way to 24th place. Just still amazed that how durable these race cars can be. I mean, that was a hard hit that Matt Kenseth did coming off. He was full throttle off the of turn two, slammed the right side. We saw Eric Almirola earlier after hitting the wall, so uh, cars were really tough, but Matt Kenseth and this race team, who could have just, you know, they're out of the chase, basically, or out of the chance for, for a chance to win the championship, but uh, continued to, to work hard and got Matt out front. Martin Truex Jr., not a factor at the very front of the pack for a lot of the day, but now late in the race, has worked his way up to second. If he gets another caution, maybe he'll have a shot at the one that got away from him back in April here. Six laps to go. We expected to see a ton of torn up sheet metal next week at Martinsville. I don't know if we expected to see what we saw today. That's a gap from first to second has uh, shrunk a little bit here in these last several laps. As you look at Paul Menard, very solid today in third. Yeah, Slugger Labby making his comeback today uh, on top of the box after the suspension. And it looks like it's made a big difference with the team. Having a solid, solid run today. And he's got a fast closing Casey Kane coming at him right now. There's the story on Casey on the day. And again, the really big story. He had just gotten to second place at that last caution. And the hiccup trying to get the car refired after 
shutting it down to save fuel. They dropped him back to sixth. Yeah, don't know if he would have had anything for Kenseth, but that certainly took any opportunity that he had in, in trying to work his way up there and, and see if he could battle Matt Kenseth. I think they'll look back on that and think that they let one get away because he has been solidly the fastest car on the track, probably the last seven or eight, ten laps. If he hadn't given up those spots, he'd be working on Matt Kenseth right now. Well, certainly the conversation around Matt Kenseth entering the championship was whether a driver and team going their separate ways at the end of the championship could keep it together enough. The information would continue to flow to compete for the title. Really, it hasn't been about their competitiveness or that information flow. It's been about luck and circumstance that have taken Kenseth out of the opportunity to run for the title. That 35th place finish at Dover really dropped them way back. Dover, one of his better tracks. They came back the next week to win at Talladega. But some 67 points behind starting the day, it was going to be too far and too much for Kenseth to overcome. That said, if this holds out for another two laps, they're going to have won two of these races in the chase. And I know for some of the guys inside Roush Fenway Racing, particularly Robbie Reiser, it really gets under their skin when people talked about the lame duck and would they continue to give Matt their all. Well, Matt's a, been a favorite over there. He, he's a really good people person. He cares about the organization, and he's just a tremendous competitor, and you can see that happening. And the white flag is up. We're in the last lap today at Kansas, a race that's featured 14 cautions. A very tough toll on car and driver. Many, many rallies on the day, including this 17 from as far as 24th in the pack. Final quarters here for Matt. Checkered flag is Here's up. The checkers. Third win of the season, second of the chase. Matt Kenseth wins at Kansas. Brad Keselowski finishes eighth, Jimmy Johnson ninth, Denny Hamlin 13th. As we wrap up the sixth race in the chase and head to Martinsville with four to go, it'll be seven points between Keselowski and Johnson. Denny Hamlin losing a little ground today. Yeah, Clint Boyer with another solid effort. Uh, six, I know he wanted to do better than that in his home state. But uh, Boyer's only going to be 25 back. Yeah, he does do a great job. Oh, I'm so impressed with the Jimmy Johnson's team and how they kept him in this without losing a ton of points. So he keep, they keep him in the championship chase, and it's uh, four to go. <laughs> never gets old, does it, Dale? Never gets old. I don't care how many times you do it. You never know when that last one's going to be there, so enjoy it whenever it happens. I think he's got a lot more coming, but... That's the saying Mark Martin always said. He always enjoyed every win because you never know when the next one's coming. So, a race that took a lot longer than normal here at Kansas today because of 14 caution flags. And now leaves us four races to go to decide who will be the champion this year. Next week... Martinsville, the final short track race of the season. And Texas Phoenix to the finale in Homestead, Miami. Join us at the track. NASCAR.com slash tickets. Never know what you're going to see. Who would have thought this one would have played out the way it did? Not me. But Martinsville, anything can happen. Yes, sir. And that car finished in the top ten. Yeah. Yeah. Championship leader there, Keslowski, probably had one of the cleaner races on the day and came up with eighth place money. While we wait for Kenseth to get around to victory lane, let's talk to some of the finishers, uh, the top finishers today. Vince? Casey Kane finishes fourth, but I know it's got to be frustrating. You were sitting second during that yellow. You turned the car off to save some fuel. And what happened? It just wouldn't refire? Yeah, it just wouldn't refire. Um, disappointing, but uh, we, we got through there. We, you know, we had a good car. We came back to fourth and 
We passed a lot of cars today, other farms in Church Chevrolet. The team did an awesome job. Great pit stops, great pit calls. I mean, this was a, a lot of tire and fuel strategy race throughout, and uh, our guys did a really nice job. So I had, a, I had an awesome car. I was a little loose there taking off. It was coming to me. We were getting really good there at the end, and uh, just weren't close enough at that point in time, but still a solid day. Fast indeed. Fourth for KC today, Dave. And Jimmy Johnson looking over the back of his car now with his crew. They're talking about what happened today. How in the world did you drive this thing back to a top 10 finish, Jimmy? I had to get a look at it here. It, uh, it's pretty tore up. Um, you know, definitely proud of this team and the fact that we uh, we never give up and we'll continue to fight and uh, try to get every point that we can. I think yesterday's nationwide race showed that uh, this thing isn't over until the checker flag falls on any given Sunday. So. All that said, I'm very proud, but also disappointed. Um, you know, I crashed the car, spun out trying to uh, get inside the 56. He bobbled a little in front of me, and I thought that was an opportunity to jump in the gas real hard. And uh, when I did that, my car took off, and I couldn't catch it. So um, all in all, good day, but could have been a lot better. I think we could be in victory lane and, and stretched uh, some points on these guys. Great recovery. Hey, next week they're going to a place where they've been to victory lane a lot. Martinsville coming up, Alan. Dave, thanks. And again, uh, I mentioned it earlier, but a look for you at those championship standings with four races to go. Played to a draw today between Keselowski and Johnson. Well, it was a really tough day, though. It was one of those those races you just try to survive. We saw a lot of close, hard racing and a lot of fast cars. Yeah, Denny Hammond had a tough week here. Uh, comes out of here 20 points back, but going to a racetrack where he's done awfully well at too in Martinsville. Hamlin losing five points today. Clint Boyer gaining three as we head on to Martinsville next week. Jamie? Brad Kozlowski, of course, checking out the points, got out of the car, big sigh of relief. What was that race like from your perspective? You guys were back, you were forward, mixed up the strategy. I, I don't even know how to explain. I'm just, I'm ready to go home and, and have a couple beers. <laughs> it's just a long day. And, uh, uh, you know, everybody's been asking all season long where the caution's been. Well, they're using the answer. They, uh, they flew to Kansas. They've been hanging out here uh, because there was caution after caution. And it seemed like every wreck that happened today happened right in front of me. So uh, glad to survive the carnage and, and brought back a decent car with Miller Lite Dodge in, you know, okay shape um, and dodged a, a bolt of a race. Uh, that's the, the only thing I can use to describe it, but uh, whew, just a, a tough day. All right. Great day for Brad Keselowski. Brings it home eighth, Alan. All right, Jamie, and meanwhile in Victory Lane, Matt Kenseth is there ready to celebrate. We go to Victory Lane, presented by Tire Rack. Matt Kenseth getting ready to climb out here, and folks, listen in. This crew loves their drive. <laughs> 95 laps ago, he was on pit road getting the fenders pulled out. He began to apologize and apologized all the way to the checkered flag. And they said, you don't need to apologize anymore. Matt, 14 years at this race team, and in a few weeks you're going to be gone. What does this mean to you? These guys obviously care so much about you. Yeah, I mean, it really means a lot. Um, I don't want to get too emotional, about Julian, but uh, first of all, I just really honestly, that's not going to work, is it? I just, uh, I really got to thank God and all the opportunities that he's put in front of me and all the guidance that he's given me through uh, pretty much my whole life, not just... Um, not just all this going on so i really want to thank jack roush robbie riser mark martin without them guys i would have never been at roush fenway racing and uh thanks to zest sprint um fifth third ford uh, battling gatorade citizen all our sponsors and also a big thank you doug yates and engine guys uh you know without all that power on restarts and to clear them guys uh, would have made my job a lot harder you can see what this means to him he's leaving this team but he cares so much Nicole do not call Matt Kenseth a lame duck driver and do not say that this championship is over four to go in just seven points between our top two drivers Brad Keselowski leads the way over Jimmy Johnson the five time champion compared to a one time champion but in the nationwide series next week it's Martinsville one o'clock Eastern on ESPN Sunday next up it's Sports Center with more coverage from right here in Kansas congrats once again to Matt Kenseth his second win of the chase.